briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 2015, the United States Bankruptcy Court for the Northern District of Georgia heard the case Bank of North Georgia v. Strict Checks Columbus II, LLC, which focused on the use of a creditor's cash collateral during bankruptcy proceedings without the creditor's consent or court authorization. Strict Checks Columbus II, LLC, debtor, had filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy in June 2015 after receiving a loan of $329,941.51 from Bank of North Georgia in 2013, with the loan being secured by a deed to secure debt on the debtor's leasehold interest. In response, the bank filed a motion for adequate protection or relief from the automatic stay, seeking payments to protect its collateral. The court initially granted the bank interim payments of $750 per month and held an evidentiary hearing. As a result of the hearing, the bank was granted adequate protection payments and a replacement lien on the debtor's inventory. However, the bank's request for an increase in monthly payments to $2,000 was denied. The bank's main argument was that the debtor's revenues from selling inventory were cash collateral and required the bank's permission or court approval for use in its operations. Ultimately, the court held that the bank was entitled to a replacement lien on the debtor's inventory as well as $750 monthly protection payments, subject to certain terms. These included the debtor preparing a budget, maintaining adequate insurance, and providing weekly financial reports to the bank. Additionally, the bank could file a renewed motion for fluctuating inventory levels. However, the court denied the bank's request for increased monthly payments, as it failed to show why an increase in adequate protection payments was necessary. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.